what's going on guys Jake here in this video I'll be showing you a survival mushroom house and if you enjoyed the video definitely consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you are not yet subscribed but other than that getting into it so I'm going to show you guys the house first so as you can see this is like an entirely easy survival mushroom house here I tried to make it as survival friendly as I could and the only things you really need are that like might be somewhat difficult is obviously some mushrooms as well as like basically just being able to find a mushroom biome but um, as I'll explain later in the video, this is kind of optional. And for some reason, my mushroom cow is sticking his head through the glass. But uh, either way, I'm going to show you guys the house. So on the inside, I had a little door set up here. And I tried to make it as compact as possible for like a small survival build. I mean, I put the bed in the ground. I have some redstone. I do have a redstone block below it as well. I tried to kind of like just add some features to make the place look a little bit better, as well as adding some functionality to it. So I added the three new furnaces types, the new one, the, or the new two, and then the basic one as well as some barrels up here and I actually really like the barrels and I kind of like putting them like the shelf thing I think it kind of looks cool like that and then um, besides that in this house there's just some stuff for decoration and as you can see right here uh, you can actually break out the walls a little bit here because the house is in the ground to like make some more space here so some of the things like these furnaces you can push into the wall like that and kind of like I have that crafting one done as well and some of these barrels could be stacked as well as uh, just put more all around the house if you actually did want to go like full survival and just add more stuff for the sake of just having more storage. But uh, anyways, besides that, there's this optional mushroom thing out here, which you definitely don't have to do. That's just kind of optional if you find one. And then a little like mushroom flower bed out here as well. But other than that, I'm going to show you guys how to actually make it. So moving on to that, it's actually relatively easy to grow a mushroom tree. All you need is like this block, this like micellin block, a mushroom, and then some bone meal. But as you can see, it kind of goes up out of the ground. So I'm going to show you guys next how to put it in the ground like I did, besides obviously just burning, putting dirt around it. So you're just going to need these three blocks. And I also like this uh, stripped birch wood block as well for the floor. But if we go down at least three blocks here with the micellin and then put a mushroom down and hit it with some bone meal, it will actually grow hopefully to the ground. And this one grew way too tall. So obviously you could just simply take this one down. That won't take any time at all. But uh, either way, sometimes they grow really tall, sometimes they grow really short, but most of the time they grow relatively short. But anyways, getting back to it. So if we try to do this again, go down plus the mushroom, and then put it, hit it with some bone meal. This time it looks like it did actually make it so it made a short one that's level with the ground. Anyways, I'm gonna throw a torch in here real quick so I can just see something. And yes, this one actually did work out perfectly. So you could just knock out those two blocks right in front of me right here, but I kind of like putting it one deep into the ground to one give you some more room. I think it actually looks a little bit cooler than that. So anyways, you're gonna have to put some stairs right here as well. I mean, like I said um, before in the video, I'm doing this a very specific way, but you could definitely uh, change it, add it a little bit differently. I just think the birch wood stairs going into like that stripped birch log into it kind of looks good and almost like just matches the look of the mushroom. And you could also add all those peripherals that are totally optional as well. But anyways, you wanna break out the ground here a little bit and add some of that birch and you could use a different block. Like I thought, thought this one looked the best, but you could add, definitely add like the actual mushroom block. I actually thought some like redstone blocks actually looked pretty decent. They didn't look that great, but like the red kind of went with it. And you could obviously add some carpets or something like that because I think red carpets or white carpets could actually look pretty good as well. But anyways, this one, I'm not gonna design too much on the inside. I'm just gonna do some like kind of basic stuff to show you how I did it as well. But anyways, if we look over here at mine, I'm gonna knock out these ones for the glass. And I thought the glass panes look best as white or red, but obviously that's not super survival friendly, but actually red glass pane isn't that hard to get, but uh, sometimes it can just be annoying and sometimes you might wanna just use the normal one or just none at all simply. And this iron door again is somewhat survival friendly, but I think it kind of looks better with the whole look of it, but you definitely could just use a normal door for that as well. And then on the inside, just simply putting a pressure plate, birch pressure plate that actually doesn't cost very many resources at all. And then moving on to some other parts of the house and specifically the outside of the house, I did the podzol, but you again, don't have to use this. You could do a pathway for it, but I think the podzol kind of looked better. And also with the flower bed, um, you could just do pots on top of that or something like that. I tried that look, but I didn't like it as much. And then obviously there's definitely a ton of different ways you could do the decorations on the outside with different mushrooms or uh, different kinds of plants or things like that. It doesn't really matter with that. But I actually do like these flower beds with the mushrooms on here because it kind of goes with the theme. 
And then also, if you throw some trap doors on the side, which I'm going to do in one second, once I finish this up, I think it actually does look a lot better than just simply normally doing it or like doing it without uh, anything at all because it kind of looks kind of bad with the dirt showing like that. And you could definitely do spruce or dark oak, but I think dark oak looked a lot better just going on with like that black or brown theme of the pods all below it. But anyways, I'm not going to do the mushroom farm over here because that just was kind of obvious. Just literally put some fence down and then the little mushroom guy. And you actually can get milk from them, but I don't think that's super useful because you could just do normal cows for that. But anyways, here's how the white one looks. And then the red, I think they both actually look pretty decent. But I went with the white to like add a little bit of, uh, I guess, like different colors there with it. I think white looked a little bit better and actually clear didn't look terrible either. But uh, going into the house, I'm not really going to do too much in here because you guys can kind of figure that as well. I mean, you could put the bed there, the barrels up there, or even the bed up top if you wanted. Barrels below, it doesn't really matter too much. And then besides that, um, that's really it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, definitely leave a like. And if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing for more awesome content. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.